G'day folks, welcome back to another vid. We've got something special to share with you today. We've got the guys down from Frontline Campers and they've brought along their formation camper. I want to introduce you to Tim. Tim from Frontline, mate, welcome to the uh, channel. Alex, how are you going? Good, mate. Tell us what you brought down to, for us to have a bit of a play with. What we've got here, um, this is our Frontline Volkswagen Transporter. This is our 340 Newton meter formation. So the smaller engine of the two, no diff lock, very much a standard vehicle with a set of off-road tyres on. Um, yeah, this is one of our five layouts uh, in our vehicle and uh, yeah, we, we've put it through our paces today and we'll see what it'll do. We certainly have put it through the paces <laughs> as you can tell by a bit of the mud. Uh, we've had fun, we've been over some ruts, we've been over in through a bog hole, some hills, all sorts of things um, and it's really performed as it should. Now, we love the Formation van, we drive one ourselves, uh, so we, we really can appreciate it. But we were really keen to check out the inside, the campus setup, because we haven't really had a good chance to look at them. Um, I'm liking a few things straight away, and I'm going to tell you straight up. I love the fact that the bed's a bit wider in mm -hmm. this particular model. Um, and I also like the, the way the roof pops up evenly, which probably gives you a bit more even headroom, I guess. Um, so we're liking that. Um, tell us a bit about the inside, the electrics, what do you got in this particular model? Yeah, so this one, uh, as we just sort of brushed on, this is one of five layouts. So this is our, we call it the Adventurer, it's our four-seater. Um, it's got a standard, well just a bit bigger than a standard double bed in there. Full elevation pop top, plenty of headroom. That layout works, um, or, the, or that roof is really useful in this layout, but also if it was one that had a walkthrough, uh, it could have single beds, various different options there. With regards to the fit out, it's got a 200 amp lithium battery, 2000 watt inverter, solar panels, uh, diesel heater. This van is off grid, this, this has got everything to keep you going. Um, it's a pretty well specced camper side of things, this vehicle. Okay, it's got the kitchen sink as well. It's, it's got, got the kitchen, kitchen it's sink. got everything and the kitchen sink. Yeah, and a shower yeah, at the back? Yeah, shower at the back, yeah. All right. And have you got a tent and things that pop out the back as well on this model or not? Yeah, that's an right. So three metre Fiamma okay. awning is standard. Yep. Um, that's three, pretty well three by three, really, really big awning, that's all standard. On top of that, we can have a fly screen annex or a canvas annex. Same as the tailgate, we can do a canvas shower room on the, on the back of the vehicle as well. So from a fairly small vehicle, we can really, when we're set up at camp, really sort of expand and, and, and establish it. Okay, cool. And it's got the captain's chair that spins around, the passenger side? Yeah, yeah. that's right. We can okay. do, this one's just got the one swivel. Um, we can certainly order them with twin swivels. That way we can really set this sort of lounge room environment. Yeah. Table in the middle. <laughs> Um, as we know, we always want to be outside where we can, but it, it is a bit of fun if a bit of weather rolls in and the novelty is you're inside the van and yeah. you're playing cards or whatever it is, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you mentioned you had five different configurations, which is cool. Mm. Uh, and I guess that leads to the question, uh, can people come to you and say, look, hey, I'm interested in this particular configuration. Do you do a lot of modifications or you stick to those five uh, basic setups and then you can add more electrics, less electrics, things like that. Is that sort of the, the way you, you operate? Yeah, that, that's true. So okay. um, the first thing we want to do, we want to have a really good chat with you, your requirements, what you need. Uh, the, the conversion that we're going to do for somebody that's going to predominantly stay on a powered site is going to be very different to what somebody that's off-grid, um, wants gas cooking or induction cooking or outside cooking. Lots of things we can chat about, work out what's right, solar, not solar, uh, inverters, heaters, um, layouts, five okay. different layouts. Do we need seat belts in the back? Um, or are we surfers that want twin singles to put boards or mountain bikes down the middle? Olga and I are surfers, <laughs> but I've got to tell you we've got all the gear and no idea, but that's another for another day. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but yeah, go on. Um, so the 35 years of, of history, as you know, with Frontline, yeah. we've been around a long time. So um, yeah, come and have a chat, come and figure out what you need um, and, and let's build something that's, that's going to suit your requirements. Okay. Um, not necessarily just something off a sheet of paper, I think. Oh, that's good. I mean, for us, we want to share with our with our viewers, our you know, the people that watch our channel, uh, we want to share, you know, all the van builders, and, and we're very impressed with what you guys do. We've had a few vans come through our driver training courses, of course, 
and uh, we had some happy customers, yep, good, uh, which good. is good. Uh, so the campfire always uh, nuts out all the all the uh, the iron, all the bugs, you know. So we'll <laughs> we'll yep. certainly give you some feedback, but. Um, Wait, where can uh, everyone can find you? Where can they find you? Um, so three showrooms up the east coast, uh, Sydney's HQ, yep. Melbourne and Ballina. Yep. We go to 12 or 13 trade shows a year, um, so come and see us there, come and have a chat. Uh, obviously um, we can jump on video calls if you're regional, uh, go through all the options, but it's always great to see you at the showroom, we can go for a test drive. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be a, a fairly popular hangout, so yeah, I think yeah. we're certainly going to be here quite a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. We can take people on a test drive here, I can assure yeah, you, mate, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, that's great, mate. Look, uh, you know, I really appreciate the time it, you come down and uh, let us have a bit of a play with the vehicle. We've had a really good look inside. We are impressed. It's a great build, uh, good company, good people. Uh, we can only wish you all the best. And uh, look, we're going to put all the details of how you can get in touch with uh, Frontline and the team at Frontline at the end of this vid. Uh, we hope you enjoy some of the, uh, the B-roll, as we call it, behind the scenes, showing you what we got up to today. <laughs> and uh, mate, thanks again. All thanks, the best. Alex. Take care. Take care. Have a good one, guys. And remember, whatever you do, get out there, have fun, and do it for the love of travel. That was good, mate. Yeah, good. Hey. Glad we, glad we got day. that yeah, sorted. Yeah. It was yeah. a good day. All right. All right. Well, uh, we'll get Pete. Oh, yeah, Pete. Come on, mate. I think we're done now, mate. Well, you reckon all good? <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Hey? There you go, mate. <laughs> all right, guys. Cheers. Take care. We'll see you soon, eh? Thanks, all right. mate. All right, up. What do you reckon those guys are up to in there? I don't know. He's um, having a good look at the fridge. Yeah. Hey, guys. They've just taken off. I'm going to check out the capacity just to share with you some of the information, the technical information you need to know about. Come on. Oh, it's a nice fridge. The beer, the beer. Beauty. Yeah, no, it's very nice interior. Yes, I must say, it's very, very good. Yeah, no, I do like it. Um, yeah, no, I love the swivel seat. Love it, love it, love it. I'ma show what I got in that stove And I know that you got that way go I make it spin like we do the